there we go. So we've got day two of working on pots. All of the pots are over there. And we're going to start with decorating um, the cups. So we have some of the clay that was used. Oh, wrong clay. Some of the clay left from the batch that made the cups. You notice it's a very white clay. And so we want to make sure that we're using the white clay very, rather than the very iron-rich reddish clay. I told you that I don't like wedging, but this was a bit of scraps, so I need to start off with wedging it just a little bit. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to compress this and flatten it out. and. Um, I'm going to bring it over and use the slab roller because that's a pretty cool piece of equipment rather than just a rolling pin. Though something this size may well work better with a rolling pin. I'm going to flatten it out a bit to start off with. Convenient way to get things larger is to throw them down at an angle at a table. And so what I've got is a piece of uh, particle, not particle board, wall board um, that I'm going to use. And we're going to go over and take a look at the slab roller. Let's see. That piece of equipment is a slab roller. Is we have some canvas. <clears throat> that will hold the clay as it goes through the roller. This one's nice, it has one adjustment that adjusts both sides. So we should get a very flat slab. There are others that have dual adjustments so that you can thing that we want to make sure of here is that the canvas doesn't go back down underneath and bunch up. So it'd be convenient for doing cookies, huh? And we have a very nice thin, even. Slab for our decorations. Let's come back over here. Oh, so while we're walking, this is my space. Oh, we got lots of people. And right over here, we have some more. Partly we can tell because, well, there's Canada stuff around. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called a nasi. 
from my friends at a Somali coffee shop next door. So that collection of decorating things. First thing that we're going to do is use a rib that we saw yesterday to get rid of the lines from that oops, um, canvas. Do star decorations, so we have or snowflakes. So we have a snowflake cutter. And our goal is to get six of these. So just like making cookies, maximize. we don't want to re-roll the clay and actually probably going to do seven or eight because this is normally Kirsten work oh well hi Kate and why both sides both sides because I'm never sure ultimately which side I'm going to be attaching um, if I could always keep it um, straight, then I wouldn't have to do both sides. Oh, and Taon is on. Taon, these are your mugs that we're decorating. Three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. Also going to be doing today's session in multiple pieces because I was told yesterday's got a little bit long as far as um, the, the replay of the video. So we're going to be doing like three or four sessions on different things that we're accomplishing. All right, so we got extra clay, which is good. Oh, we got our smalls, our mediums, and our larges. And remember, these will shrink during the firing. So they may look a little bit big now, but they're not really. <clears throat> the nice thing about being at home I have everything kind of out in one place and I don't have to pick up after myself every time. So I do run over and get a knife, a little scraper tool, have a brush, and coffee. <sighs> so our goal is to make our snowflake look more snowflake-like. This was a Kirsten design, so I'm going to try to do it as well as she did.
So what I did was cut out the inside. And reconnect it. Woohoo! So it looks like a snowflake. And I'm lucky enough that the clay is very wet, so I don't have to um, do a lot of scoring and wetting. Because attaching this to the mugs, I'm going to have to do some more work on it to make sure that it sticks. So that's what I'm going to do with the pieces we've just cut out. And to keep these sections shorter, I'm gonna go through and demo the whole process on one mug, then go off and do the rest of the mugs. I'll come back later and demo trimming. And then finally, later on, after I'm done with the trimming, putting handles on mugs. I use a different technique than some people. I, I pull the handle from the mug, but we'll talk about that later on. So, the mug, or the cup, I should say. Um, very little that has to happen. One thing, we need to smooth out the bottom. A little bit of water on the finger. Make sure that I'm in the frame. Use the metal rib. And you might ask, why not trim out some of the excess clay? Well, I, when I threw these, I didn't leave a lot of excess clay. And also I want to, oh, hey Tris. Oh yes, the pastry is yummy. because I don't want to spend time trimming um, and I can smooth it out nicely this way. Had some rubber stamps made, thanks Will. Um, watching people uh, ah. <laughs> Hi Kay. I got my, my new uh, design, and so I'm going to stamp in, see, the otter is so, so beautiful. Thank you, Nan. And I need to put the year in, another pretty cool tool, a rubber tip tool. And a 17. Haha, <laughs> isn't that nice? Hey, E. So now we're going to have our little cup. I should move this a little bit. Our cup. And what I'm doing is putting scratch marks on here to increase the surface area. I know, that surface was so beautiful. So, I scratched the surface that's slightly bigger than the, uh, what I'm gonna put on it. Ha, oh, yes, science. And so then I'm gonna also score the back of here Don't know if you can see that very well, but that increases that surface area. Okay. 
and we have a snowflake cup. I'm going to use a paintbrush to clean up some of these lines on the outside and in the holes. Anne's on. Hi, Anne. And yes, I'm actually decorating something. Now, a couple tools that I'm going to be using later on in the day. Uh, medieval styled trimming tools. They aren't my norm, but I figured if I'm going to demo this, um, for period pottery, I should use the right tools. And we have a collection of tools made by our friends Rob and Jody that are various types of designs made out of antler, bone, and the all-time favorite, raccoon penis bone. And I'm going to use one of these guys that's kind of a triangular shape. To clean up some of the points. and spend some time with this. What am I drinking this morning? Anne, come on. Of course it's coffee, cold press. Um, what else in the world would I be drinking? See, we should get Anne to do some of these too because she is really good at creating things, especially birds. should let this alone, let it dry some more before I clean up the rest. So, well, I could be having egg done, but then I would probably need something in it, and it is a little early for that. You're right, both of them make life just a lot better. Um, and so, I'm going to go through and do the uh, rest of these. And um, I'll come back later on, probably in about 45 minutes to an hour, to do the demonstration of how I trim up um, pie plates and the cooking pot that I made yesterday. Oh, and the bowls. So, hope this was, was fun. I enjoyed having you all here. Oh yes, these are the medieval trimming tools. Do, 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 do. And um, the uh, decorating tools are all very nicely period as well. 
the rubber stamp, not so very medieval. Not at all, actually. Um, anything else to say this morning? No. Some of you will see later. Enjoy the morning. Oh, well, the 45 millimeter cleanup. Well, the 45, oh, clean up you. <laughs> Probably yes. Well, 45 minutes. Yes, yes, and I'm sorry, 45 minutes. I can't see for crap. Um, oh, let me answer. So yes, I'll be using the tools in 45 minutes or so. Um, as far as uh, glazing goes, um, I'll be doing the glaze demo in after they come out of uh, bisking. And um, what else? Oh, so yes. So after this stage, on Thursday afternoon, I'm going to be doing a, a loading of the kiln to step through that process on probably like Saturday morning, um, glazing everything. And then on uh, Friday for glazing? Don't think so. I think Saturday morning. Because it gets loaded Thursday, it'll take 24 hours to fire. But Saturday, Friday is busy, so it's going to be Saturday morning. And then, um, like Tuesday, uh, we'll do an unpacking. Ah, sounds good. But I need to go and finish these up before everything gets too dry. Everybody have a beautiful morning, and it'll be right about 45 minutes when I come back. And I know that uh, the Nova Scotians won't be there because they'll be listening to um, uh, the Stuart McLean Christmas special at noon your time. Enjoy, and we will uh, talk soon.